so today we are flying down to Manchester. It is the first expo of the year. We are going down to the Fit Expo for the whole weekend, so it's Thursday. We're going down earlier so we can get set up. I see Harry can get set up. Um, and I'm going to go up to Leeds to train some events with our friend Pa. <laughs> Tom is arriving tomorrow. He has to. He's got an appointment tomorrow, so he's going to fly down tomorrow evening. So just ourselves, just now, and he's flying down with Sinead and Mr. Bodybuilder himself, Sean Clark. Show us the quads. <laughs> How many? How many will I do? Like stop at ten. Yeah, maybe 15. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's locked. Is it, yeah? What's <laughs> that? <laughs> Just not strong enough. <laughs> I think that's the light one as well. <laughs> it's after 13. <laughs> I've no You're shoes. You've got no your shoes in the fucking... I forgot my quads. <laughs> You've got everything in the car. I don't have the soft so just do it, you can edit it on there. <laughs> when I do one, just repeat that. <laughs> don't keep going, okay, I won't. <clears throat> you have to show off in this Oh, one. do you want me to go, stop, that's enough. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna wear really long baggy trousers for this, so you can't. I'm gonna wear like baggy trousers, so you can't see if I'm double dipping. <laughs> <laughs> MC Hammer. <laughs> so, wow. No knee sleeves. No shoes. No quads. No quads. We're going back. We're going this one now. Yeah. If I fail it, you have to delete it. Come on. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> but I feel amazing right now. I'm just playing a game. I could have got 14 there. <laughs> Why would I do that? When everyone's looking. Not me. Because I'm not crazy. One rip. <laughs> one rep for the one. <laughs> so nice. I didn't surprise myself. Yeah. I don't think I surprised. <laughs> I don't think I surprised anyone. But. But I feel good. Yeah, you feel good. You look good. To be honest, Pa very kindly came over to Manchester earlier, um, and he kind of drove up here with us to Leeds, um, which is is a star of a guy. So thank you very much, Mr. Pa Dwyer. It's what I do for my friends, you know. Oh. <laughs> Oh. 
How's it feel compared to the wooden uh, the wooden yolk? Uh, it's, it's solid that one, yeah, really solid. It's just weird going at 300 straight away. Something weird. Look at that. I'm like Pudjanowski. Pajanowski. <laughs> Oh, thanks, mate. Thank you. Do you want me to sign you? Yeah. Um, You're gonna go balls out. You might as well. <laughs> might as well. I'll give it a wee go. I might break another world record today, not I'm saying. You don't do the competition. I love the fact that he actually denies having the hairline tattoo as well. Yeah, see, yeah, is it? It's not. It's because there's no. You can feel stubble there, but there's none there. Rob, not feel there. There's no stubble there. The stubble there. Listen. No, that's just your skin. That's just. <laughs> that, that's just smooth. That's, that's tattoo. Rub it back. Back that, to it. That, yeah. Mind my fringe. <laughs> no, there's nothing there. I have to ruin my hair. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Come on. Good. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get up, Luke. Jeez. Come on, last one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Really good. <laughs> it's because it's fucking bigger. It's bigger, yeah. I think it's the It's because that's bigger. You have to change your f what you're doing. <laughs> BB, you can nah, mate. You got that stone, you put it up there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Vlog's too short. Make us content. <laughs> you're just going to take like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Come back and it's night, night time. <laughs> Come on, Luke. Good. Come on, make sure of it. Come on. Nice. Come on. Get this Luke, come on! Another world record! <laughs> nice. That was good. Okay. Four minutes, 39. <laughs> what was the time? 4.39. <laughs> and how did that last one feel? Did it feel alright? Fine. Yeah. Give us a review of that session. That was one of the greatest sessions I've ever done. I don't know about Luke. Um, everything went smoothly. It's only thirds, Luke thirds. <laughs> it's Luke's third training session, getting ready for Royal Albert Hall. And the one thing I will say is, check out the guns. Felt good. Um, oh, stones. Well, I'm happy with that for stones, it wasn't the best, but again, um, we've got a few weeks to get better. So, Viking Press was really good, happy with that. Yoke felt fine. Uh, stones felt okay, nothing, nothing too hectic, so. What was it like training with Pa? Amazing, Pa's so inspiring. I love his positive attitude in life. Uh, someone I really look up to. And uh, like how not to be strong. <laughs> I only do it, no, it was really good. <laughs> nice day out. Just making coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I have a fact, right? Yeah, fact. Okay, yeah. what's the fact? I have a fact. Right. Ants can lift ten times their body weight. No, they can't. Yes, they can. It's way more than that. It's like hundred times. Yeah. No, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Tommy fact. So, so have you, right, in a way. Have you yeah, seen? Have, right. have you seen Flick from a book like that? Is it mental also? Ten times their body weight. Bugs weigh 
like 0 0.5 kg to 10 times that's a lot. 0.5 kg is as big as that amp, bro. It's like a barbell. 0.5 kg. It's still quite heavy. 10 times that. And it's 10 times body weight. Two bags of crisps. Yeah, awesome. Fact checked by Tom Stockman that they can lift six times their body weight. <laughs> that was um, Patrick. I was watching a funny film. Good <laughs> film. Oh, you're right. I hate it when we open up safari. It always rats me out. No. Bloody spam no. mail. <laughs> what, what, what category was that? Um, and, um, Aunt. Uh, Aunt. Uh, Aunt. Uh, step Stepbrother. Stepbrother. <laughs> <laughs> Water is out. I'm stuck in the washing machine. <laughs> We've all made that. We've all made that. I'm stuck under the bed. Oh, I can't get out. So, it's okay, mommy. I'll get you out. <laughs> anyway, getting back. <laughs> and ask. <laughs> <laughs> Ant Man, check his history. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, googling ant. Uh, what is it? Ten times the body weight. Ten to fifty times their weight. Uh, Not excuse cares, me, no. Tom Stockman <laughs> facts. Thank you very much. Day one for Expo. Let's go. Let's check it out. Bang. Give us a wee tour of the stand. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. My name is Hugh Stoltman. And welcome to the casting coach. Cheers. <laughs> Can you give us a tour? <laughs> Jumpers, t-shirts, t-shirts, boys. World's strongest man. Morning, everybody. So it is 8:30 in the morning. Um, we're just across at the blood lab, getting our bloods uh, taken, getting some IV drips as well. Huge shout out to Dr. Chris for looking after us so well, as he always does. So the stall's all set up. I believe it opens about nine o'clock. So we don't have much on today, so we'll be at the stall. There's a log lift and deadlift going on. So I think I'm gonna go over there and go on the mic, do a little bit of that. Should be good fun. And uh, yeah, just see how today goes. Hopefully, it'll be nice and busy. Sorry, I learned about the ten times thing in Spain. Did you did you see an ant? I have seen like a group of them lifting like this big. Uh... How many ants do you think it would take to carry you? Five thousand. Five thousand. Yeah. So zero point five kg times ten body weight. Wait, ask Chris this question, Chris. <laughs> Chris, right, come here, right? This is people laughed at me by this round, right? How much, you know, ants, how many more time their body weights can they lift? Oh, it's ridiculous, it's thousands. It's not, is it that? It's ten times their body weight. Ten times? So. Yeah. Well, ten times. People were saying I was bullshitting. Pat Googled it and I was right. So thank you, Tommy's fat again, always right. But tell them, tell them how heavy you think an ant 0. is. 0.5 kg an ant is, and it's do ten times their body weight. Half a kilo. It's not half a kilo. It's, <laughs> kilo. it's, kilo. <laughs> it's not half a kilo, mate. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're not getting me with that. Right, so you're saying yeah, you're with five kilos. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure about that? Google it and see, I can't see you. No, I'm sure you can lift 10 times the body weight, but the body weight isn't half a kilo. <laughs> this year, guys, the Fit Expo was was pretty spectacular. I really enjoyed it. This year was in Manchester, bigger and better than ever. Very, very cool that we had another booth there. It was much bigger and better. Crowd's really good, really receptive to both Tom and myself. I think the whole venue was a lot better. It was. It seemed a lot more flow to it, which was really good. Um, and it was really, really special for, for all of us to be down there. You know, we took a whole team. There was much more than there was again last year. You know, there was the strong man, strong woman categories. There's the disabled strong woman and man, which are always really good to watch. The Log and Deadlift Championship um, on the stage, which I got to do a little bit of MCing, which was really cool. Let's hear it for Jack Osborne, 200 kilos. This is a huge lift! Come on, Jack! Let's go! Come on, let's make some noise for Jack here! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, Jack! Come on, 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 J
Let's go. Oh! Yes! 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 <laughs> what a monster! 200 kilos, Jack! You motherfucker! You're strong! Um, there was I think, a new thing, I don't think this has been done, arm wrestling. That's getting more and more popular around the world and that was introduced into the FitX this year as well and it looked like it was very, very successful. The FitX is growing every single year and it's nice to see different sports. I've never seen arm wrestling live and I got a glimpse of one or two matches and <laughs> it looks very brutal. So there's obviously the bodybuilding, the bikini models, where you can never get bored to watch it on the Saturday and Sunday, the whole weekend, it was loads of entertainment with that stuff. And you go around the stalls, there was all the, you know, all the different stalls there. MMA stuff there as well that me and Luke had a shot off, which was quite fun and we just kind of got involved It's just nice that there's another expo out there that's on the rise and I expect you know next year I think there's going to be some real big big things coming We were looked after far too good you know they, they, they went above and beyond for us and um, it was it felt really humbling um, to, to be treated like that you know because again we're not used to that type of um, level of care and attention and it was really nice. Day one. Day two. Day two. Day two. Day two. Day two, my Day two at the Expo. Let's go. Day two of the Fit Expo. It is the final day in Manchester and we are bringing the spicy energy. Come on down, come see us and buy your merch. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Today's gonna be a fun day. I can't wait for everyone to buy my march, not Stoltman's, because it's, it's really bad quality, I think. Uh, <laughs> they have the same supplier. <laughs> Three, two, one. Chat, the interview with the Stoltmans. Time to be inspiring, I hope. Or not. Yeah. Time to chat. Hey, up, mate. Good night, mate. See you. Hi, guys. Hello. Yeah, yeah, come on. We've been training Stoltman for a year. Hi. Who are the main driving forces throughout your life that have made you the strong men you are today? Um, for me that's obvious, that's my mum, uh, she was my biggest supporter um, and yeah I wouldn't be doing anything without her and then obviously Sinead is sitting there and Sinead and my mum, two biggest people in my life, uh, obviously with the autism and helped me uh, grow up to who I am today and then Sinead to uh, just help me through my strong and career and be my kind of sight to it and you know I didn't win World Strong as well but so I want it with her. <laughs> It's emotional, jeez. Oh, <laughs> well, that question, jeez. Um, yeah, it's a tough one because you know, um, for those of you who don't know, our mum passed away um, a few years ago from a, a fight with cancer. Um, and you know, since mum then passed, uh, unfortunately, mum never got to see us. You know, on a on the bigger stage kind of winning stuff um, so yeah as Tom says with, with mum um, we you know, were very blessed to have such a close family um, our mum, our dad um, there's three other siblings uh, in the family and um, yeah mum and dad they just taught us how to how to work hard you know like it's, it's not it's not it sounds very simple but when you've got people like like our parents, our mum and dad, um, you know, just showing us how to be that people we should be. And then, as Tom says, you know, Tom's got Sinead, I've got Cushy. Um, things really started to transform for us when we got married. Um, and then, you know, the the pain, I don't know if any, it's probably a lot of people that have lost loved ones because of cancer, but when you watch someone um, 
go through uh, like like pain. Um, that that's really tough, uh, and that changes you. It changes you as a person. Um, so that that change in us, I think, that really allowed us to to go deeper and to want to be something because of mum. Um, and now you know we have tattoos. I've got a tattoo in my arm of mum. Tom's got a tattoo of mum. Um, and you know we like to think we're doing her her memory a, a justice. I think. Um, so yeah, uh, big thanks to our mum, dad, and our amazing wife. It's uh, yeah very special. Join me in giving the biggest round of applause to Tom and Luke Sutton for what's going on in the program. Thank you. And up next we have a panel talking about men's special. That is our talk, just finished off. Really nice, but now we're back in the stall and now it's time for some more photos. and the ice bath I've got a nice cold bathtub for me so I'm sitting in here recharge your batteries me and Big Tommy's got a big week of training ahead so I'm doing my recovery just now feeling refreshed ready to go and uh, yeah we'll see you later Oh, really? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you such soft hands. Oh. <laughs> okay. yeah. oh, yeah. It's nice now, yeah. Oh, my God. You going on holiday soon? Oh, man. <laughs> 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 oh really? Yeah, shoot a bit. Oh, that was so nice. Such soft hands. Club is looking at him. Yeah, I've got a rap for you guys. Yeah. He hit the floor. Yeah, yeah I'm from Allness. I, I, I used to live in the Mill Nafua, but now I live in the Kilpaka and I like my chicken pakoras just like a lot more girlies. <laughs> Get off now! You're doing it! Tommy, you got it, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> right, day two complete. As you can see, look, it's hard at work, packing the boxes away. What an event for weekend, it's been great. It's been great to see everyone here in Manchester, but that's it come to an end. So we are gonna lock ourselves in a room for a few days and chill. Now, a big thank you to everybody that came, bought the merchandise. Big thank you to all the fans that came out and saw us. It means so, so much to us, and we will see you at the next one. Stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding, 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 ding. Big shout out to Darren. A huge shout out and a huge thank you to Darren, Joe, the rest of the guys. Big shout out to you know, everyone that works at the FedEx. They're so lovely people, you know I mean? When we went down there, the, the whole stand was built for us. We didn't have to do anything. They were coming out throughout the day if we wanted waters, if we wanted food. Um, they made sure we were all good. We made sure our hotel was fine, that there was no problems. We had our own... You know, driver going there and to and from the airport, to and from the hotel, to and from the Fit Expo. So it was really, really well run and it was really amazing. And also a big shout out to Jose, or Joe, as he's like to be called, the driver that was driving us around, one of the nicest and funniest guys I've met. He made the journey to the Expo very, very entertaining and it was, uh, yeah, it was very, very cool. So hopefully we'll see him again. But yeah, Darren and the whole team were unbelievable. Magnificent work this year and I uh, can't thank you enough for the, the hospitality, the 
the effort and the work that you put into the Fit Expo to making it a really special event and yeah, we hope to see you guys back there next year. Guys, so today I'm going to walk you through the walk quest. Hey guys, this is week one of the Atlas Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 